Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bailey Evan and I'm doing a little jewelry overview. Last time I did Majuri versus Masoma, but I think we're going to include more this time. First we'll start with Majuri versus Masoma and then I'll talk about some of my other like earrings and this necklace and we'll just walk through it. Honestly, I find these videos really boring. I don't like to watch them, but this is my most viewed video on my channel, my Majuri versus Masoma, so you guys want it. You've asked for more jewelry videos, so let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to start with Masoma. So first up, these were a little gift with purchase. These are the Shooting Star Sud Earrings. They are in pretty good shape still, but I haven't worn these a ton, but I think they're super cute. It's just like a little star with a shooting thing at the back. Next up from Masoma is the Lucy Williams Roman Coin Arc Necklace, and this is the chain to it, and I actually put the pendant on one of my other necklaces. But as you can see, this pendant is still in really good shape, and I got this years ago. The chain is not as bright as it once was, but I mean, definitely still wearable, and again, we'll do try-ons and close-ups of these. Next up for Masoma are these Pave hoops. I have these in my second hole. Again, I've worn these literally every day since I got them years ago, and I think they, in my opinion, look pretty good. I sleep in them, I shower in them, I go in the pool in them, everything. And these are the moon and star hoops, also from the Soma that I have next to them. Same thing, they've held up really well. Moving on to Majuri. So we're just gonna start out with my little smallest one first. This is just a little stud chain. Oh my gosh, sorry, I had a little dust. And this is really cute to hang between two earrings. I will insert a picture of it. It's best when you have two of them. You can kind of just, you know, put it in behind them. Uh, next up is a Zodiac necklace, and I obviously have a Capricorn one. Oh. If you hate on Capricorns, you can kindly see yourself out. Just kidding, I hate on Pisces, it's fine. Oh. <laughs> uh, but this is held up pretty well. Just kidding, Pisces, oh. I love you. Some of my really good friends are Pisces. Um, well, really well, it actually is a little tarnished. It's, it's definitely not in as good of condition, even as probably when I did my last video on this, which was a little over a year ago but it's still cute, definitely still wearable. Now these I'm a little disappointed in because I haven't worn them a ton and I feel like they've tarnished the most. And these are the Stellar collection. I have two of them. These were like a collab they did with Lauren Elizabeth. It's a very cute little pairing of necklaces, but again, I feel like these have definitely tarnished the most out of anything I have from Majuri or Masoma. And then last up is my most expensive piece out of most of this, I would say. Uh, it's this little gold and diamond necklace from Missouri. This is, I think it's called the Solitaire Diamond Necklace. And okay, last time a lot of people were saying I shouldn't say this is solid gold because I guess it's like a misnomer. I don't know, but this one is more gold than these ones, which are, and I also think I pronounced it wrong. I said vermil. Sorry guys, I don't know. But these are Vermil, the other ones, and this one. And the stud chain are actual. This one is 14 karat solid gold. The Their pieces on Majuri are, they, they classify it as 14 karat solid gold. I know some people, like I said, take issue with that definition, but I'm just going by what the site says. And like I said, all the other pieces are Vermel, I believe they're 18 karat on the Masoma ones and 18 karat for the Majuri ones, and they're Vermil, which it just has to do with the amount of gold that's plated on and whether it's bonded. Okay, so to give a little background on what's the difference between these, uh, gold plated is like a thin layer of gold and it's usually on something like a brass, a copper, a nickel. Gold vermil, it usually has sterling silver that the gold is bonded to, and but it's still not a super thick layer of gold. Gold filled is the thickest layer of gold that you will get on something. And I believe I have some gold filled pieces uh, that we'll get to in a second. But again, that's just a thicker layer of gold versus actual 14 karat like you get on one of these. Yeah, gold filled, gold plated, vermil is always gonna be cheaper than 
a solid 14 karat or 18 karat. Mm -hmm. And I'd say usually gold uh, filled is going to be the most expensive because you have the the next most expensive because mm -hmm. you have the thickest layer of gold. So I guess the reason people are taking issue with saying it's solid gold if it's 14 karat is because it's really only the 14 carats of gold and the rest it's an alloy and the rest of it's made up of other things. So I've definitely noticed with my pieces though the ones that are actually solid gold, 14 karat gold versus a gold pleated or gold filled or vermil is that they do hold up better for everyday use. Moving on to these necklaces, uh, or actually I'll start with my bracelet. So this bracelet is actually welded on. Uh, it's so cool. It's, I, di I did it at Catford at a club in LA. And it takes one second. And it's just this little machine they use and they go and it like, it literally zaps it for one second and then it's welded on your wrist. And I've had this for two years now. A year, two years. And I mean, it's still completely on. It still looks really nice and sparkly. Okay, sorry, we've had some technical gurky difficulties as usual when I'm filming a sit-down video. So this is the 1976 chain from Catbird and I, like I said, I put my little Masoma charm on this because I like the way it looks when it kind of goes more in a V shape because if I don't have a charm on it, it's a little more round. Mm -hmm. But again, this chain is 14 karat gold. Uh, I wear it every day. Everything I have on right now is kind of what I wear all the time and this chain is from a small business called Metier. It's actually like a college student who runs it. And this is gold fill, I believe. Everything will be linked down below and I'll clarify in the little pop-ups if it's gold fill or gold plated or whatever. Um, I haven't had this super long. I've only had this for a few months because I got it after quarantine started, but I do really like it and I never like taking it off. Moving on to some of my earrings, um, this little one right here is from Stone & Strand, this lightning bolt. Stone & Strand is based in New York and I actually got this one pierced there. Again, the top part of it is 14 karat gold. Then these, this one right here is Stone & Strand. Unfortunately, I cannot remember where I got this one from, what company. I got it pierced in Gainesville, but I just can't remember the type, the type of jewelry. And this one used to be down in my lobe. And then this is a ring from J. Colby Smith. And my conch is also from J. Colby Smith. And this is just a little like cubic zirconia stud. This one unfortunately is a little pyramid stud that I can't remember where it's from. Sorry guys. And this one right here is Maria Tosh, my little star. I love Maria Tosh's jewelry, but I've lost multiple earrings from this star earring. I lost it. Luckily, I found it. It was like stuck in my carpet and I've lost another one from them. So they're just really expensive and considering I've lost them multiple times, I don't know if I really recommend it. I don't know. It's such a like hard thing because I think they're really pretty and they also have solid gold backings, which a lot of these other ones don't. So I appreciate that, that they're gold all the way through versus some of these have like titanium backings. Um, but again you might lose them then oh this is my favorite ring i used to have so many of these and i got them from an art fair and again these are solid gold and i just think they're so cool but now i can't find the lady who makes them anywhere so if you know hit me up and then these are my really only like nice silver pieces these are a little pair of chanel earrings that my grandma got me when i was in like high school middle school um, I actually really like wearing these when I dress up as like a celebrity or something, like if I'm trying to be like Kylie Jenner, you know? And then my grandma also got me this David Yerman ring when I graduated law school, no, college. Uh, and again, I'm not a big silver person, but I think it's really pretty. And I wear this one when I'm trying to be a professional lawyer girl, but you know, very cute. Well, I hope that was helpful, guys, and if you have any questions, leave a comment below, and I will try to help you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!